Can you name three birth control methods? Um, like there's one like in body. Uh, yes. An IUD, Plan B, and birth control the same thing. I know. Oh my How god. Do you it? <laughs> oh my god. Hi, yeah. I'm Cushy, and I'm Marwat, and we're both interns at the Center for Global Women's Health Technologies at Duke. And today on campus, we're going to find out how much people know about menstrual health. Today I'm the guest expert for the Cala campaign and I'm here to bust some myths about reproductive health. So we're going to test your knowledge on menstrual health. Okay. The first question is, why do women bleed on their period? Well, that would be... I'm, okay, so first of all, I'm not, I don't have the medical background. Well... I thought they cleaned their body out. I, to get rid of bacteria. Because they're going through, like, right, come on, Z, you know this. Because mm -hmm. what's going on with their body when it comes to, um, I'll leave it at that. That's all I can just come up that's with. That's all you can say. Okay, that's fine. Right. Throughout the month, the lining in the uterus will get thicker in preparation for an embryo. However, if there is no fertilized egg, um, then the lining just sheds itself. It'll just shed out of the uterus and dissolve into a pool of blood at the bottom of the uterus. Um, and so when menstruation starts, it's when that blood starts to flow out of the uterus. And so what menstrual blood is, is just the disintegrated uterine lining. And how much blood does a woman shed on her period? Um, that I do not know. I want Any guesses? Like two liters? It depends. Do you have some people have heavier flow? I don't know. A quarter of a liter? That is six to eight teaspoons. Granted, everybody is different. That's the average. How long does menstruation, which is the bleeding period, last? Um, One week. One week. Usually three, <laughs> three to mm -hmm. seven days. I'd say for a week or a week? month. Actually, no, a month. Maybe a week or two. Like five to seven days. And what is the average length of a woman's menstrual cycle? Oh, I learned this in my junior junior high school. Each, like every other month or? Okay. Three weeks. Three weeks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. about 28 or 29 days. Perfect! That is right. <laughs> Menstruation, which is the bleeding part of the period, can last from anywhere um, to two to six days. Some people it can last a little longer, that's just the average. And the menstrual cycle, um, so the whole, the whole month of ovulation, um, fertile window, and menstruation, can the average length is around 28 to 45 days. So I'm going to ask you to hold your hand out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to place something in it. Okay. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> have you ever heard of a tampon? No. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a tampon. Like my mother would never use it in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? A tampon, I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> and how is it used? To like stop bleeding, absorb flow. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say. I'm like, is there a trick question? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> and can you name two other products available for period management? Pad. Tampon, and then there's pads. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know, they're the same. They're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, a maxi pad, and also. Uh, I guess I can't. Uh, what's the name? Uh. I don't use it, but there's some cup. The Diva Cup. Yeah, the yes. Diva Cup. Pads, tampons that you can put inside, the Diva Cup. A Diva Cup basically is a little silicone cup that you can fold and then insert into the vagina and it pops open and creates an airtight suction and it catches the menstrual blood as it flows down. There's also disposable menstrual cups, sea sponges, um, as well as uh, reusable pads that are cloth that you can wash over and over again and use. Can a woman get pregnant on her period? I want to say no. Uh, please, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
people can get pregnant on their period and the reason for this is because sperm can survive in the internal reproductive system for about three days and so if you are exposed to sperm towards the end of your period and you have an early ovulation then sperm that sperm can come into contact with an egg and it can implant itself and you can become pregnant the chances are low though and can you name three other birth control methods plan b Plan B and birth control, the same thing. A contraception pill, uh, an IUD, mm -hmm. and also condoms. In China, about 20 years ago, we have policy that a woman can only uh, give birth to just one, one child. child. The one child yeah, policy, yeah, yeah. yeah. The pill, the pill, um, the one that goes up you, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, me too, the thing that goes like yeah. up and down. Um, the pill, basically what the pill does usually is just tricks your body into thinking it's already pregnant um, so you don't ovulate anymore. Um, and so if there's no egg present, then there's no chance of fertilization. The IUD, um, which there's two types, hormonal, which tricks your body into thinking you're pregnant, and the copper IUD, which is non-hormonal, but copper acts as a spermicide, uh, so it effectively just rips the heads off from the tails. Uh, the copper ion will. Um, the patch, the shot, the implant, which is implanted into the arm, can last for five to ten years and just continuously releases uh, progesterone and other hormones um, and a whole host of others that may not be as popular. So again, my name is Vaishnavi Suripurupu. I'm a member of the Vagilantes, which is the Reproductive Health Channel, linked in the description below. I hope this video has helped to clarify some misconceptions about the internal reproductive system. Thank you so much for watching the video and please continue to support the Kala campaign. <laughs> Wait, Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Riley. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Riley. Hi, Riley. <laughs> <laughs>